Hey guys, welcome back on Power Up with Sharvish. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel so that you can get notification of newly uploaded videos. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can set the start screen for the Power Apps. So whenever user opens the app, we will decide which screen to show or which screen to display first. Let's navigate to our test app. Now, if you look at it, I have three screens in this app. Whichever screen is at the top, that screen will be loaded when the app is open. So if I just open this app, I'll just reopen it. So whenever I open the app first, this is the screen which is displayed first because this screen is on the top. So if I just move another screen, I'll just move it up, which is my form screen. There is a form and I'm dis displaying a record here. I'll just make save the changes and publish it. Now I'll just reopen the app again. Now let's see which screen is displayed first. Okay, now you can see the form screen has been displayed now because we have moved it on the top. So this way you can define which screen you, you want to display it first when the app is open. But how can you achieve if you want to do it dynamically on some certain conditions, you want to decide, okay, I want to display the dashboard when user is opening the app, but when user is opening the existing record from SharePoint or from a link in an email, uh, then I want user to navigate or I want this screen to be displayed first. So how you can do it dynamically. So there is an option here. Uh, if you go navigate to the app control and there are these properties available, you can do some business logic execute on, on start event. And there is a property called start screen. So you have to provide the screen name which you want to display first. Okay. Now you want to do it dynamically depending on some condition. So what we need to do is, for example, if you want to open a particular record from your list or from your database, then you need to pass some parameter inside that link. So let's assume that we have, we have a email notification. We are sending a notification and in this link, we are adding a parameter, let's say item ID is equal to so and so. Let's say whatever the item ID is, we are passing it in the link. So when this link is used by the user, we want user to navigate or we want this screen to be displayed. So what we can do in this app control on the start screen property, you have to add condition here let's say param this is a function i'm going to use to read the parameter query string parameter this is my parameter and as it is going to be an integer i'm just type casting it to integer value so if the value is greater than zero that means there is a query string parameter named item id which is passed in the link then I want the start screen to be form screen. If there is no parameter called item ID in the link, then I just want to load the dashboard as the landing screen. Okay. So this is my condition depending on the query string parameter. If we are sending a query string parameter in the link, I want this screen to be displayed. If not, then I want dashboard screen to be displayed first. Okay, so that's how you define it. Now let's just give it a try. Let's just test it if it is working fine or not. So if you look at it, uh, the dashboard screen is on top. So by default, if we are not sending any parameter, the dashboard screen will be displayed. If we are passing any parameter in the link, then we are displaying form screen, which is this screen. So let me just save this and publish it. Let's just reopen this. Uh, first, I'll open this without any query string parameter. So by default, the dashboard screen should be displayed first. 
let me just refresh this so that it can open the latest version so if you look at it so the landing screen is dashboard screen now i'll just add a parameter here let's say and item id is equal to one two three so this should open the second screen which is form screen so i hope this is clear now depending on the query string parameters so we have some condition we have some logic dynamically we are deciding which screen to be displayed first to the user if you have query string parameter and your record id then you can directly navigate to the form screen where you have form added if not then you can just keep the user on the dashboard screen so again just to reiterate this app control here start screen that is the property you have to set the value at and then you have to add the condition depending on the condition you can choose which screen you want to display first well that's it uh, in this video i hope this will help you guys thank you so much for watching